What's happening, everybody? Welcome to a holiday special of the Games and Drafts podcast. I'm Sonny, and with me, as always, is Ben Steele. Sup, bitches. Sup, man, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, how about you? How are you? I'm good, thank you very much. Well, sort of. I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> yeah. I just sound a little bit sexier than usual. Mm. The lady fans <laughs> will be, yeah, all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? All, all, the, all the lady fans will be uh, knocking on your door. Yeah, they will be, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to beat them off you will. wait what what <laughs> I'll to beat you off I'll take it <laughs> good song <laughs> this is what you can expect on the games and graphs just, just absolutely mat- yeah. complete maturity the entire way through yeah fresh out of the gates as well yeah, no messing yeah. around just, just straight just, in there uh, I love it <laughs> so uh, on this first of two holiday special podcasts uh, we're going to be talking the games of the year. So uh, mm. in my notes, I've actually written game of the year 2020. So apparently I've gone to the future. Oh, future. I know. Um, but of course, we're going to talk about the games of the year uh, for 2019. So awesome. um, if you ever heard one of these before, what we usually do is uh, basically we run down from what well, we go from 10 to one. Yes. Makes so, sense. Uh, it's, it's, been a, it's been a good year for gaming, I think. Oh, yes. Big time. Yeah. Really, really good. Massive games. Yeah. Yeah, there has been some really massive games this year. Um, it, you know, it's not been my favourite year in gaming. Okay. But, you know, it's not been bad by any stretch. Oh, no. Yeah. I just, def- think I've had, I, th- I just think I've had more enjoyable years. That's fair. That's fair. There's, uh, yeah, a lot of games that are, like, very niche. Like, not everyone will be, uh, you know, in secret games like Sekiro. Not everyone's going to like. Um, yeah, it's like, games like that, the Bloodstained. Um, excellent game, but, it's, like, very... Uh, but for a very specific audience, and like Shenmue 3 again. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, the lists that we're going to give, we're not sort of uh, official reviewers as such, no. so we're going to be sort of running down our personal top 10 lists. Yes, of course, uh, games, so gonna... games we haven't like, had the chance yeah. to play, obviously. And uh, like games that would have been on my list, for example, would probably be like Outer Worlds, uh, Astral Chain, probably would be on there, Luigi Mansion 3, games like that. Yeah. Because obviously, not a time to play everything. Yeah, and as we don't get paid for this properly, we. Uh, <laughs> We just we just can't physically play everything. It's just yeah. impossible. Not yeah. One day. One day next year. Yes. Twenty twenty. Yeah. Games. games twenty twenty. Yeah. So uh, when, when we come to the games of the year twenty twenty, like the list will be massive, <laughs> and it'd be impossible. But, and we'll be sitting here. Well, I'll be sitting here like on a chair made of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Top one hundred games of twenty twenty. Finn, Finn will be too busy with uh, like women and drugs and stuff. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it's gonna be a big turnaround with twenty twenty. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Everything's going to turn on its head. Absolutely. I would have been hired and fired by WWE for the podcast, basically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, Finn, uh, let's start with you. Let's go for uh, game number 10 on your list. Okay, uh, my number 10 game I've got is uh, Mortal Kombat 11, Ooh. which um, I wouldn't, wasn't expecting uh, to actually even play. Um, because I'm not a big fighting game person. Um, occasionally I'll dip in. Uh, Street Fighter 4 I played a lot of uh, back in the day. But since then, I've not really played a whole lot. But I actually watched uh, Gaming Mule, a buddy Gaming Mule, over on Twitch play it. I was like, yeah, oh, this actually looks pretty good. I might actually give this a try. Uh, so I bought it, and yeah, I loved it. Um, yeah, so it's a really good, solid fighting game. It's it looks like very accessible as well. Like it's not like impossible. Like I say, Killer Instincts is like pretty hard to get into for new players. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, but what can't eleven? You just you gotta pick up the combos really easily, and uh, yeah, it's really fun. Platinum it as well. It's uh, not yeah, easy. Giant- I think generally it's just fun to play. I mean, we might as well talk about it because I've got it at number 10 on my list as well. Oh, so cool. um, I, I really like it. I think it's great. Uh, I think Nether Realm have been on a really decent roll uh, for a number of years now with like the Mortal Kombat games and mm. Injustice as well. Yeah, yeah. So they've been knocking the ball out of the park and Mortal Kombat 11 is, you know, it's, it's just another step forward. And, you know, I think they're probably uh, the best maker of fighting games now. Yeah, I'd say that. Um, Street Fighter Five hasn't been the best. Um, usually Capcom are, are like on top of the game when it comes to fighting games, mm-hmm. so at the minute it's like, yeah, downhill a little bit. Um, but yeah, they the one killed it. It's great. Yeah, I think the Nether done just such a fantastic job with it. Um, you know, there's there's so much content in Mortal Kombat 11 as well. It's like mm-hmm. it's, it's actually quite insane how much content there actually is. Yeah, it's one of those games you can just play forever, You're like the weekly towers and things like that. Um, yeah, yeah, it's great. 
like so many offline modes as well as online modes. So it sort of caters to everybody, which is, you know, it's actually quite rare these days because, you know, like Street Fighter is um, catered, in my opinion, very much towards the more competitive mm. audience of yeah, gamers. Big time. Uh, but Mortal Kombat, I mean, although, you know, there is competitive tournaments for Mortal Kombat and stuff like that, they're, they're not sort of, you know, thrown at you in, in a way that other fighting games are. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, another thing with Mortal Kombat as well, the graphics are fantastic. Oh, yeah. They're incredible. Like some, some of the fatalities yeah. are just brutal. They look, look so cool. Oh, yeah. It's great. And <laughs> the character models are fantastic. And it's just it's just everything you want from a Mortal Kombat game in 2019. Yeah, absolutely. I'm hoping for Mortal Kombat 12, they bring back the real people and do it that way again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> amazing. <laughs> Can you imagine that these days? <laughs> I don't, I don't want that new uh, Sub-Zero game. Oh, um, yeah. mythologies. Yeah, so some two mythologies. Oh yes, please give me that. Yeah. Why have we never had a sequel to that all-time cl- classic game? Yeah, exactly. It's so good. How did we never get it? Oh, <laughs> ridiculous? Come on, another one. Uh, I know. Come on. Even just tack it on to more, or bring out like a separate DLC, Mortal Kombat Mythologies Two Sub Zero. Yeah, that'd be great. We're, We're all here for it. Yeah. <laughs> got to got to bring back the original actors though. The original motion capture. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, like the original Sub Zero, the original Quan Chi. Yeah, all that shit. Let's 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 go let's go full balls out on it. <laughs> uh, I'd love that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> in the, in the world's shittiest way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, fun times. Oh man, so we both got Mortal Kombat eleven at number ten. So that's a good start. Yes, excellent. What you got for number nine? Uh, number nine, I have uh, the kickstarted uh, Bloodstained. Ritual of the Night. It's an homage ah. to uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night back in the day. So I find it quite interesting that this is on your top 10 list, actually, because you mm. said that, I mean, I, I know obviously you enjoyed it a great deal, but you said there were some issues with it as well. But, but is the game sort of good enough to get past those issues, you know, for it to be top 10 worthy? Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's uh, a bit, as I said, it's a bit janky. Um, a few like little bugs in there, but there's never, not, not anything to like hamper the experience of the game. Like, Everything else is like the, the gameplay feels solid. Uh, the map is really well designed. Um, the graphics are nice, considering like uh, came from Kickstarter and it's like a two D like Metroidvania kind of game. Sure. Um, and yeah, story's good, and there's like lots of different secrets and different endings you can get. And yeah, just a really solid, nice, very good homage to uh, like the old school Castlevania games. Because that's very much a you game, isn't it? Oh yeah, hundred percent. I, I uh, backed it in fact on uh, Kickstarter. What it was. Got my name. I never credits. backed a game on Kickstarter. <laughs> No, it's not for everyone. No, it's like like that and um, Shenmue Three or the two I uh, helped because I'm a big fan of Shenmue Two, one or two, obviously, and a big fan of uh, Castlevania. So I had sure. to really, I could not. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. Sometimes, to be honest, I'm quite ignorant towards it. To be honest, I don't, <laughs> so I don't pay enough attention to Kickstarter. That's fair. I mean, there's probably stuff on there that I would absolutely love and want to back, <laughs> but it's just I don't know. I, things just get lost in the shuffle on the internet sometimes. Yeah, that's fair. It's one of those things as well. If you only just like donate like a pound or something, it's still like helping in its own little way. Yeah, of course. Yeah. That's cool. What's your uh, number nine game? My number nine game is Far Cry New Dawn. Oh, interesting. Not the highest yeah. viewed game out there. No, but um, I really enjoyed it. That's it's fair. just, it was, I think what I liked about it, it was super colorful. Uh, it played like a Far Cry game. And it was a, it was an all round shorter experience, like smaller map. It was sort of like it wasn't like a numbered Far Cry. So it wasn't like Far Cry Five, which is absolutely massive, or mm. you know, it was more like um, Far Cry Primal. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. But I really liked it. I, I enjoyed the story. Uh, I enjoyed the sort of uh, the the like the base, um, like upgrade side of things, and um, I just just overall, I thought it was great. It was a really great shooter. Um, you know, they've nailed it at this point. Like, if you've not got it right now, then you're never going to get it right. But they have. Uh, and it's really good. And it just it just plays and looks so great. And um, I've not really, there's not really many open world uh, FPS games that are, I'm into. But that um, definitely was one of them. And it was just uh, an experience that I really enjoyed. And I'm happy that I did play it. Cool. Fair play. Did you play it in the co-op at all? Or did you do it solo? No, I just did it solo. Um, but, you know, I just, it was just easy to play. Yeah. Not like easy as in difficulty, but it's just an easy pick up and play because you know um, it, it was just it was just great. Like Far Cry is really good anyway. Yeah, I mean I love um, Far Cry Five. I think I I think I platinum that one. 
really good. Loved it. Yeah, five's really good. Mm. And this this sort of like carries on from it. That's cool. Uh, but it's a, it's a much shorter experience. I mean, it's still sort of, you know, in the double digits for length, but it is uh, it is a much shorter experience than the usual Far Cry games. But uh, it's incredibly colourful and it uh, just has a lot of personality. And for that reason, that, that, that reason alone really is why it's made my, my top 10. Cool. Awesome. Fair play. So yeah, that's my number nine. What have you got for number eight? Uh, number eight, um, I put uh, Cadence of Hyrule, which is the um, Crypt of the Necrodancer, I don't remember what it's called. Ah, oh, uh, yeah. Spin-off for Zelda. Um, and it's really good. I, I thought about putting either this or Link's Awakening. Um, I, lo- I, lo- I love both games. Uh, Link's Awakening is a very cool remake. Uh, both great, yeah. Yeah. We came to Hyrule, just, uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun with it. I'm a big fan of rhythm games anyway. And this is like a mixture between rhythm games and Zelda style dungeon crawling, which is like, yeah, two things I love. Mashed mash into one big thing. And that's, yeah, I loved it. I remember watching the trailer for it and thinking, this looks really cool. And then I actually picked up Crypt of the Necro Dancer mm. uh, on the Nintendo eStore in the sale. I think I got it for like four quid or something. But okay. um, I have played it, but only very briefly. But um, it's something I want to sort of look at more so that, because uh, I want to pick up the Hyrule one, but I want to play the first one first. That's fair. Um, the first one is very difficult. It's a lot, lot harder than Dickens of Hyrule. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, that's more of a uh, roguelike, so things are like, different every time you play it. Um, oh, okay. But Dickens of Hyrule is more... There are like roguelike elements. I think the maps are a little bit randomized, but mm-hmm. um, for the most part, it's like a linear experience. Oh, okay. Um, and yeah, but... but it- I mean, I love rhythm games like you. Mm. You know, I'm fully into rhythm games. Like, it just recently I bought... Um, there's like a drumming game. I don't know if you you played it or not. Um, it's like a it's like the the box art is like a drum with a smiley face on it. Oh, no, I've seen that one. It's like Jap- It's Japanese and uh, it's like it's on Switch as well. But I, I didn't realize it was on PS4, but I saw it on PSN. And it was really cheap, so I bought it. Oh, nice. And yeah, I'll, I'll play any sort of rhythm game. I'm not bothered. But so that's why Crypt of the Necro Dancer and this one they sort of like jump out at me um, because yeah, rhythm games are great. Yeah, it's so good. What's your I'm own? happy that this is one of the. Uh, I'm happy that that's one of the good ones. I thought it would be. Yeah, exactly. Nintendo don't really drop the ball. Yeah, it's it's cool. You don't really see um, Nintendo hand off like their properties to other developers very often. Um, this is a cool. It's little to like little indie developers, and this is like a cool little experiment. I think, and it's worked out really well. I love it. Yeah, that's good. Awesome. What's your right? number eight? Uh, number eight is my friend Pedro. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you've played this or not yet, but yeah. um, it's so much fun it's like, awesome it's if you don't know what it is for those listening it's basically it's a i'd say probably 2.5d um side scrolling shooter basically mm. um so you you get like you wake up from something that's happened to you and you now have a banana called pedro talking to you <laughs> makes because, sense because obviously right yeah of course why wouldn't you yeah well i mean that, that makes sense perfectly yeah. um and pedro is basically sort of guiding you through the game Awesome. And you sort of uh, you like have matrix esque time slowing powers, which makes the kills look super cool. Like you can just do flips and shoot multiple people all at once, and it's just a completely mindless fun game. Like it's easy to pick up and play, difficult to master, but it's just super fun. Um, at the minute, you can only get it on. Well, you can't get it on PS4 yet. I I, I have no doubt that it's coming. Oh yeah, but it's on um, Switch, PC, and Xbox One. Nice, but it's uh, it's well worth looking at. Um, it's just one of those one of those fun games that just creeps up every now and then, and um, just yeah, it's, it's well worth playing. You could probably get it cheap. It's on Xbox Game Pass if you've got an Xbox One. So awesome. um, yeah, go go play my friend Pedro. There's you know you don't really have to pay attention to the story. It's just uh, there's bad guys. You pick up guns, shooty shooty, talk to a banana. Next level. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Yeah, there's one I looked, yeah. one I uh, saw all over the internet when it first came out. It's like, yeah, it's definitely one of the ones to try in the future. It looks really fun. Yeah, definitely do. It's uh, it's super fun, and uh, yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't recommend it enough. But uh, it had to make my top ten list just because it's one of them games again that you just like. It, it, one of them things that you'll stop playing for like you won't play it for a few years, and then you'll see it pop up, and you'll be like, ah, oh, my friend Pedro was fucking awesome. Gonna play it again. So yeah, <laughs> awesome, cool. Uh, so we're moving on to, will this be number six now? Uh, number seven. Number seven. I'm all over the place today. Yeah. Good counting. Math. It's hard. <laughs> yeah, top, top maths. <laughs> what have you got for number seven on your list? Uh, number seven, a game I would, I would put a bit higher, um, well, I guess I would a bit higher, 
uh, earlier in the year when it first came out. Um, but it's Kingdom Hearts 3, yeah. which is an excellent game. Um, the reason it's not higher is because I thought it was just a little bit too easy. Um, yeah, it didn't really have to, not much really thought in it, just mash X a bunch, press triangle. I felt like these, the earlier games were a lot um, more challenging. Okay. Um, I was playing it on normal, maybe I should have put it on a little bit harder. Um, but yeah, I love it. It was a really good game, don't get me wrong. The world's, the graphics are amazing, the world's you Brazil. Oh, yeah. Super cool. Um, but there's something just felt a little off. I don't know what it is compared to the first two games. Um, That's fair enough. Did you beat it? Oh, uh, yeah, I beat it. And it was actually my 100th platinum. Oh, nice. 100, yeah. Which is very cool. No, that's good. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, I've got Kingdom Hearts 3 on my list as well. Cool. Um, I think number seven is probably fair, actually. Yeah. Um So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give that as my number seven as well, because that there are games that I've enjoyed more that are gonna be higher in the list. Yeah. Um but to be honest, I actually thought this was a last year game until I was like browsing yeah. through the games that that came out this year. Yeah, it was very early. It came out in January. Uh, the January, yeah. Yeah. This is my first Kingdom Hearts game. Cool. Uh, and I went in with I went in with an open mind. And I'm really glad I did. Um I think the easiness of it um helped like a newcomer like myself. Oh yeah, totally. But I can under a bit but you're right, it is easy. You don't die very often. It's you know, it's very it is very easy. Yeah. They've actually added uh a even harder difficulty and it's called critical mode. Um uh, so I might go back and play through that uh, at some point. They're also giving some uh, DLC coming out soon, which looks really, really cool. Yes, there is, yeah. Um it looks awesome. There's more stuff from the earlier games, which was what's mm. in the King of Three, so I'm very excited about that. I'm definitely gonna go back and play that. And yeah. Great game. Yeah, it's really good. I love the I love the design of the worlds. Um, mm. I think sort of like being a Disney fan like that I am. Um, like when you go back and you see the worlds from the films that you've you've watched and enjoyed and all that sort of stuff, I think it just makes um, the whole thing just a bit more of a spectacle. Oh yeah, big time. Uh, and uh, I like the characters. The story's confusion and shit. I oh, have yeah. no idea what's <laughs> going on. You won't have any idea. If this is the first Game Master game, you have no idea what's going on. Yeah, I, I'm fighting in <laughs> Toy Story with a massive key, and that's that's just it. Yeah, with the guys in cloaks all around you. Yeah, uh, like so you've got Final Fantasy characters like with spiky hair and shit, and then you've got <laughs> Donald Duck acting cocky as fuck. <laughs> and it's just it's just one of those weird games um, that would be very difficult to describe to uh, a normal human being. But um, <laughs> it's it's very good, and I'm very happy that I did play it because, uh, yeah, I loved it. That was great. Yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, I was happy it exists. Like, Kingdom Hearts 2 came out so long ago now. The PS2 game. Mm. It's like, are we, are we ever going to get Kingdom Hearts 3? Is that ever going to exist? But now, finally, 2019, it's here. And it's great. And it's glorious. It's yeah. glorious. And this is it like, is glorious. this is like a good place to find some ingredients. Thanks, Donald. <laughs> 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 I, I, to be honest, I, I sort of wanted you to, to attempt doing the voice. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't do Tom's voice. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't do it? No, I'm not going to try. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> That's the song, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh man. So it. yeah, Kingdom Hearts number seven on both of our lists. Great game. Cool. Excellent. All right, number six. My number six is uh, Control. This came out. Oh, in August. okay. Uh, yeah, a game I didn't know was coming out or even existed until I saw you streaming it. Um, yeah, made by Remedy, the guys from Made Alan Wake. And yep. yeah, yeah. As you said before, it's all the Control coming out. Like lists of games coming out soon. I just thought, yeah, it's probably going to be a shit game. Out. This nothing I've never heard of. <laughs> Um, I th- and I think that was the problem with it, and I think that's why it struggled so bad when it did come out. Yeah, but it's so yeah, just it's just, a, just a, don't know what it is. Yeah, it was a really cool, unique game. Uh, it's a really cool, a really cool story, and it's very like don't describe it. It's very like sci-fi. Um, oh, one hundred percent, yeah, yeah, like his own like Metroidvania sort of elements. Um, mm. One complaint is like the map, like in-game map, isn't super intuitive. I got lost a lot. No. Um, yeah, I, I'd say that's fair. I had the same issue. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but for, most, for the most part, I like a really excellent game. I loved it. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, I, I um, I just I love the way the game was designed. Uh, I love the superpowers, and I like how it doesn't give you everything all at once. You have to earn them as you go through the game. It just makes you feel more powerful as the game progresses, which, in my opinion, is how it should be. Um, and I just thought it was great. I liked the lead character. I enjoyed the world that it was set in. Yes, you are right in what you're saying completely. The map is um, not overly intuitive. But um, overall, uh, as a package, it's just such a great game. And, you know, they've won a heap of awards for it, and I'm sure mm. they're very happy with that. I'm sure they would rather have the sales 
Yeah, yeah. Because at the end of the day, awards don't make money, sales do. Um, but well, you know, if you haven't if you haven't played Control, you honestly you should. I mean, it's going to be in all the sales this Christmas. Mm. Uh, you know, in January sales and stuff like that. Seek it out, play it, and enjoy it because it truly is one of the best games this year. Absolutely. Um, I, I, I just said in the sales, I, I do think it's going to do well in the sales. Now it's got all the good reviews and all the positive stuff. Um, I think when people yeah. see it on sale, they're going to like jump at it, which they should. I, I do hope so. I really do hope so. Hmm. Uh, what's just yeah. like the physics of it? You don't really see many like physics like games, like picking up things and throwing them at enemies. Uh, no. It wanted to be like uh, even Half Life Two back in the day when it had like the gravity gun. Yeah, um, yeah, just a lot of fun. I loved it. Yeah, it's really, really good. Cool. What's your uh, number six? Number six is Blood and Truth, the uh, PlayStation VR game. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. Awesome. Uh, I loved um, the London heist on PlayStation VR World. So when mm. I discovered that this was coming out, uh, it, it made me super happy. I, I used to love the Getaway back on the PS2. Oh yeah, that was great. Um. Remake that, please. Or make a new one. Just, yeah. just do that. That'd be awesome. I'd love that shit. Yeah, but um, this is as close as we've got at the minute. And if you've got a PlayStation VR headset, this is one of the essential games. Yeah, it's it's very cool. It's super cool. Just uh, the, it, it does VR right. It immerses you in this world and, you know, just gives you control of, of everything that it should give you control of. You know, just it just works better. It's so difficult to describe when you're if you if you've not got VR, right? But <laughs> yeah. just the way you can like climb ladders and like the way that it makes you reach up and stuff like that. And uh, I'm actually, you know, I'm sat here doing it, reaching up <laughs> like an idiot. Now, it's, it's like giving an example, people can't even see what I'm doing. <laughs> um, but the, the the way that you can sort of um, like hold the gun over your wrist to get more get more of a steady aim, just small little details like that make it just. It's just so much fun to play and very difficult to put down. And it, you, on top of that, you like with a cheesy sort of London hmm. gangster type story, uh, very sort of akin to a Guy Ritchie movie. And it's just, it's just so perfect. An absolute match made in heaven with the PlayStation VR and an absolute must buy. If you are either getting the VR this Christmas or if you have one already and you just haven't played it much, get it out and the vr that is and <laughs> um get blood and truth and play it. it's really really good oh yeah it's very cool it's not my list personally just because i forgot about it um <laughs> that's fair enough this is also because i did have some like control issues i was stuck playing it sitting down because i don't have a lot of space uh, in okay. my place um after since it's covered that standing on my sofa works really well i was playing uh, oh. <laughs> yeah i was playing um beat saber just standing on my sofa, swinging my arms around like two o'clock in the morning, like a maniac. Is, is this why you're <laughs> nailing through Beat Saber now? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like, I don't know. We want to get back into VR. I kind of played VR in a little while. I was like, saw yeah. beat, beat Saber on this. I'm like, yeah, we don't want to play. We want to get good at Beat Saber and like get the platinum as well. So yeah, I've been playing that. How, how far away from the platinum are you? Because it's hard. It's super hard. Um, you know. Uh, so I've got, I looked up <laughs> what the hardest trophy is. The hardest trophy apparently is to get a double S rank on a uh, song on Expert without modifiers. Uh, um, okay. So I've been planning through that and I finally got it the other day. Um, Which song was it? Um, it was Legend. It was, it was called, I think. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, I was doing it on one saber mode because I found it a lot easier to get high scores in one saber because on my left hand, for some reason, it wasn't giving me super high scores. Um, but yeah, after many, many, many failed attempts, I finally got it. So now, now all that's left is to get like, I think there's a story we're getting 100 million points overall. I checked what I'm at, and I'm currently at 24 million, so I've got a ways to go yet. Um, so, the thing is with Beat Saber, though, it's so fun to play. It's a, it's uh, Beat so Saber's fun. a big hit in our house. Mm. Um, Kaylee is absolutely insane at it. <laughs> awesome. Uh, I'm pretty sure that when like people come around, she's like, oh, let's play the VR, and just buzz it on Sharf at how awesome she is. <laughs> That's fair. I would it's do the same absolutely thing insane. But it's a great game. Yeah. It's very cool. I think it was on my list last year, actually, because it came out last year, didn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it was on my list as well. I've got my old my list here. Number five. Yeah. Oh, very yeah, cool. it's high I think oh, mine was high as well. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Sorry, off on the slight tangent there. Uh, cool. So what's the... <laughs> oh, number five, right, okay. My number five is uh, Devil May Cry 5 from March. Ooh. Mm, very cool game. And then again, I'm glad yeah. it exists. Uh, yeah, just a really cool... As, I love all Devil May Cry, Devil May Cry games. Um, it's very yeah. stylish. Just cool, just fun combos and just hack and slash demons. Yeah, everything. Everything about it is cool. Um, it is. It's, it is yeah. super stylish. I mean, you've hit the nail on the head there. 
for sure. It's uh, it's great. I loved it as well. Um, it's, I mean, Capcom have just fucking nailed it this year. Oh yeah, what a redemption! I mean, holy crap! Man. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it's just it's incredible. <clears throat> like all the combos and things you can do, like a new character whose name escapes me right now. Um, it's just yeah, Nero? Very, good, no, not Nero. Nero's the other one. Yeah, I'll, I'll find it in a minute. But uh, just a very cool, unique. He's got everyone. Everyone's got their own unique. Uh, like mechanics to it and makes them feel very yes. different which is yeah it's really cool and perfect and I love it yeah I think that's quite difficult to do with those kind of games as well like making each character have a new identity because at the end of the day the games the, you know they're not you know it's literally mashing buttons if <laughs> pretty much learning combos and stuff. Um, but yeah um, you know the way that they they have made the characters like sort of feel unique uh, during their different parts is is very very cool and uh, um Devil May Cry is on my list as well. Awesome. Uh, his name is V, by the way. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a simple. That's simple. How the uh, fuck did we forget that? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, well. but yeah, Devil May Cry. I'm gonna I'm gonna put that at number five as well because I've got games above it that I, I I think would go above it. Yeah, but no, just yeah, it's just really cool. I don't know how that was to describe it other than it's just it's stylish. No, you're it's right. Cool it is stylish. super cool. It's like yeah. it's just one of those cool games you can put on and play. It isn't stressful. It's fun. Yeah, you know, it's cheesy as shit, like the, the dialogue and stuff. Oh yeah. Um, but it's it's just it's just so much fun to play. So fun. Uh like everything else, I believe it's on Xbox Game Pass, so you can go and check it out for free if you've got an Xbox and an nice. Xbox Game Pass subscription. Well, but can... um uh, yeah, you should definitely play it. It's so good. And that'll be in the sales as well. All these games that we're going to talk that we're talking about on this show um they are going to be on in the sale no doubt about it absolutely devil may cry five one word to describe it cool yes stylus super slick style yes <laughs> cool <laughs> uh right number four yep is uh, resident evil 2 the remake mm. came out in january same day yep. as guinea Marts. good day uh yeah <laughs> Resident Evil 2 Remake is something we've all wanted since the Resident Evil 1 Remake back on the GameCube. Um, yeah. And just done it really well, really good way. Like, it's taking the mechanics from, like, 4. Like, it's just not, like, overhead like the old days. It's, like, sport behind, you know, behind the character. Third person kind yeah. of thing. And, yeah, it's just everything's really well, like, designed. Like, you still tell it's Resident Evil 2, even mm-hmm. though it's all complete, been completely remade. And yeah, it's just, it's Resident Evil 2, and it's just like, it's still very scary, still like got a horror element to it. Looks great, mm-hmm. everyone looks great. And yeah, it's super good. Like, if you know like the layout from the original game, you know where to go and do, how where to go and do things <laughs> in the new game. Yeah, uh, it's weird. I mean, <laughs> um, this is my number four as well. Cool. Um, but I, I really soured on it. When it first came out, um, I played a little bit and I was like, yeah, this is fine. Uh, but I just, I don't know. Part of me, I just couldn't be arsed with it. <laughs> That's fair. But recently I went back to it and I was like, why did I leave this? It's absolutely awesome. And it's just, I love everything about it. It's just, it's just just little details in there that I love. I, you know, I love the way it's just, um, it's just, it's just great. You know, I love the, the use of the resident evil seven engine. Mm. Um, and the way that they've sort of turned it into, um, third person. Like, so you constantly resident evil seven is first person, um, but they've, they've kept Resident Evil 2 at third. Um, I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have objected to a third person mode, to be honest. First person, sorry. Yeah, I'd been okay with that. Um, because Res- Resident Evil 7 works so well, but obviously okay. everybody remembers Resident Evil 2 for being third person, and they've just done a, such a great job of it, you know? Um, it's, you know, classic Capcom in the same vein as Devil May Cry. It, you know, the dialogue is cheesy, but it always was, and it wouldn't be Resident Evil if it wasn't. Exactly. But the guns are great. The puzzles are fun. Um, it, it, just everything about it. It's just it's just one big giant spectacle. Yeah, it's a it's the perfect remake. I can't watch anything better. Yeah, it's it's just awesome. Yeah, it's so good. Um, definitely play it. I mean, again, it's going to be in the sale, and it is. I believe it is in the sale um, on everything. But it's um, it's definitely one that's worth playing before they chuck Resident Evil Three out next year, which I'm almost certain mm. will be fantastic as well. Can't wait. Um, speaking of, I added a trophy onto Resident Evil 2. Um, oh, they have? Yeah, yeah. One of the light bronze trophy, which is fine. Mm. There's, there's like a letter left behind uh, by Jill, which they added him. So you can like go oh. find a letter and read like what she said on there. It's really, really cool. Cool little Easter egg they added. 
that's cool. I'm glad that they're taking the time to do this sort of stuff. I mean, from what um, like we've discussed in the Discord before, apparently Resident Evil 3 was supposed to come with Resident Evil 2. Mm. But um, time constraints and stuff like that. I'm glad it didn't because um, now, you know, now we get this, uh, another Resident Evil game to look forward to in 2020. And uh, I'm, I'm fucking hyped for it big time. Now that I'm fully appreciate Resident Evil 2 remake for how good it is. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super glad that it's coming. Yeah, can't wait. Sub question. Do you think they'll do four? Hmm. I don't know. It's four's already that same sort of gameplay. So and there's already like a things like HD version on PS4 and stuff. So it's not everything. You can play it on your phone. <laughs> do really? Wow. Weird. Yeah, seriously. It's a- <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I don't, don't think they will. If they do anything, I think they'll do uh, Code Veronica, maybe um, Zero. Uh, yeah, this- I think they'll do Code Veronica because they mentioned that Chris is on vacation in Europe during Claire's playthrough. Ah, uh, yeah. Hmm, that'd be cool. I don't remember that from the the original. Yeah, because I love, I love uh, um, Code Veronica. Yeah, Code Veronica was great. I, I, I can see them definitely doing that. After three. Just remake all of them. Just do all of them. Maybe not six. Yeah. Do all the rest of them. <laughs> yeah, don't do, yeah, don't do don't do five though either. Yeah, no do five or six. We don't need, we don't need those. Mm-mm. <laughs> you might as well do four. Just do four as well. Yeah, why not? And make the girl less annoying though. Oh yeah. Leon. Help. Leon. <laughs> <laughs> Leon. Yeah. Oh god, man! That playthrough I did. Jesus Christ! I was so happy when it was done. <laughs> that, she's so annoying. <laughs> Uh, good times. Yeah, great game though. Great, so good. So right. good. Number three. My number three is uh, Mario Maker Two on the Switch. Uh, see, of course. I I contemplated putting this on my list, but it mm. didn't make it. But it is it's awesome. It's yeah, it's one of those games again that you can just play forever. It's like millions of levels made by uh, cool people, mm-hmm. and a bunch of terrible levels made by idiots. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, once you fish through all the tail ones, there are some really, really clever, unique levels out there, well designed. Um, and just, yeah, it's just really fun. They keep updating it. They just add, did an update where they added, like, Link from Legend of Zelda, which is all got its own unique uh, moves and power-ups and things. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I need to check that out. That's awesome. I didn't it's, realize. It's very cool. It also added, like, weekly speed runs you can do, which you can, get, like, compete oh. against other people to get, like, the faster times. That's good. Fun. Yeah, it's this really good one, my game. Nintendo know what they're doing. Oh, 100%. I mean, their their first party games are just, they're next level. They yeah. are. I mean, there's so much care and love taken with their characters uh, and the games that they're in. Um, you, you know, you don't get um, shit ones. <laughs> exactly. I couldn't think of a better way to put it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And yeah, it's just a perfect sequel to Mario Maker 1. Because I yeah. wonder when they first announced it, like, what else can they add? The Mario Maker 1's already so good. Um, but yeah, that is so much, like, new enemies, new, just everything. And, yeah. And yeah, it's great. Yeah, so my, yeah, my, my, um, my favorite Nintendo I, game. I, I really liked it. For what I've played, uh, I really like it as well. Uh, I was sort of mainly playing through the story as opposed to the user-created stuff. Yeah, it's always great. Um, but I, ju- I just love the way that it's all put together. You know, they're, they're, still, they're taking an old formula and making it feel like super fresh, even like 30 plus years on. Yeah, it's so good. So good. I couldn't say anything else before, but it was. Oh, well, I'll go back to it. Uh, so what's your number three? <laughs> Uh, number three. See, it's tough now. When now I get to the top three. <laughs> yeah. Um, Death Stranding. Oh, interesting. Because um, you know, I wasn't interested in it at all, mm. and then sort of uh, decided that I would play it and lose a shitload of hours to it. <laughs> and it's really good. And it's it's a weird game, Death Stranding. I mean, I'm sure so you're going to talk about it as well, but it's it's a very bizarre game. It's the story. I I. I like the story i thought the story was going to be confusing as shit but it's really not yeah it's like once you like when you're watching trailers i think again i was like you was like this is too weird i don't, I don't want it but the more yeah. more trailers i watched I was like it's kind of intriguing actually i'm kind of i just wanted to be mm. part of the hype like it's today you know team's first game since Metal Gear solid five five yeah Gear five um and i was just yeah. super intrigued what it was and yeah i'm glad i, glad I jumped in because it's yeah it's amazing it's more just it's, it's such a beautiful world you know i think i uh what i call it on the podcast was a beautiful piece of art and i think mm. that's exactly what it is i think it's more than a game yeah it's as you say it's, it is art and i will talk about it more in a minute spoiler alert. yeah but, um yeah. but so I, I put and i'll talk about it when you talk about it as well so <laughs> uh number three on my list is uh is death stranding awesome good choice cool yeah uh so my number two 
is uh, Sekiro. It came out in March. Which, nice. Which is another one of those games that could have sworn came out last year. Because I only played it this year. Uh, but no, it came out this year and is, yeah, amazing. Um, the perfect evolution of like the Soulsborne, I think. Like, added more things, like very stealthy. It's mm-hmm. uh, Dark Souls and stuff like that. It's maybe just go, go run forward and kill things and get killed. Uh-huh. Yeah. But this is more, a bit like- more, bit more open world, a bit more... Um, a lot more stealthy and just, just cool and the fighting mechanics are very cool like very um, uh, parry heavy like you got to time your attacks perfectly and you time your blocks perfectly um, where would you rate it on the difficulty scale in um, comparison to sort of Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne hmm good question um, I'd say it's probably the hardest just because of the timing required okay um, let's see I'll probably put like a I want to say 10 out of 10 but I'd say probably 9 out of 10 I'm talking really? games out there. Yeah, yeah. Hmm, okay. It's, it's a game that I definitely want to play because I do, I, I think, um, I mean, we'll probably, what we'll do next year is probably the top 10 games of the generation, which will be fucking difficult. Okay. But <laughs> um, I am of the firm belief that Bloodborne is um, one of, if not the best PlayStation 4 exclusive. Yeah, it's, yeah, incredible. Uh, it's just, ju- it's just unbelievable. Um, and I like Dark Souls 3 as well, even though, I, you know, really not that good at it but when you play these games and you you do start to progress through it i mean it's it's just that it gives you that feeling of satisfaction like you've done something that's just that you've worked so hard towards you know what i mean by that (laughs) yeah absolutely like when you finally kill a boss that you've been struggling with yeah exactly it's like yeah i finally killed it (laughs) I thought the frustration yes. of losing like 70 times in a row. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I got my souls back, motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. Is... I'm going to spend that shit now. But it's, uh, <laughs> it's just, I don't know. It's just, it's a series of games that, you know, it isn't for everybody. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, people but hate it. They, they are really great games. I mean, even for me who sucks at them, I can appreciate just how masterful they are. Mm. But uh, Sekiro, yeah, it's definitely on my radar to play at some point. Um, it's just sort of getting around to it. But it's, it's definitely one that I want to check out because I knew that it would be good. The moment I saw that it was announced and From Software were involved, I knew that it was going to be great. Yeah, absolutely. It's very cool enemies in there as well. Like, it's like giant, yeah, that setting really appeals to me too. Yeah, it's like this giant ape thing with just like drop kicks and elbow drops and things. Like, ah, oh, it's a wrestling, wrestling uh, giant monkey ape thing. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> monkey ape. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love how a lot of like um, bosses have like second forms. I remember there's one boss I killed the first time, and like chopped his head off. It's like yeah, I did it, killed it, and then I turn around, he's like got up again, start chasing me. He's like oh god, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, went away. <laughs> yeah, but again, you know, when you beat the bosses, you you just get that satisfaction that I don't think many games can really give you. Yeah, absolutely. It's yeah, the satisfaction is the big part of it. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Uh, what's your number two? Uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Mm, cool. I thought it'd be on uh, it's it's phenomenal. It's so good. Uh, it's uh, it's just great. You know, <laughs> I just can't explain it. Respawn have just done an absolutely amazing job yeah, with it. Um, it has the great storytelling that, like you know, the likes of Uncharted would have. Um, you know, and you combine that with um, great combat and amazing traversal, and just it's just a, a joy to look at as well. And it. There's there's no way that it, it couldn't have been one of my games of the year. It's just fantastic. Yeah. Um, like I'm not a big Star Wars guy, but I do want to go and play this at some point because this looks so much fun. I, th- I think you can play it without being a Star Wars guy. Yeah. 100%. I mean, you don't need to sort of know all the lore and that sort of stuff. I mean, you know, there's great Easter eggs in there for, for those that, you know, are big Star Wars fans. Me personally, I am a Star Wars fan. So, you know, you appreciate the Easter eggs, but it's not a necessity. It's... um. I, I think you can just play it and enjoy it as a great action adventure game, which is what it is. Yeah, absolutely. But, it, you know, just everything about it. I mean, just from j- just the way that the characters are designed and the voice acting is great and the, the, the score is brilliant. Just everything about it is just, it's just very, very good. And, um, you know, you always have that concern, especially when EA are involved in a project. Um, but Respawn uh, are a real credit to EA. Yeah, I think and uh, probably the best team that they've got and they've made one of the I think it's one of the best games of the last sort of of, of the current generation for sure. I think it's so good whether it makes that top 10 because there has been so many phenomenal games this gen mm. um, remains to be seen. But um, it's it's just very, very good. Awesome. 
Good stuff. Go play it. Yes, I will. <laughs> well, again, it's another one of those things like where, where like with uh, like we talked about with control before, um, like the way that you, you do unlock powers as you progress through the game. And I, I really like that. I, I I think that's how it, that's how those kind of games should be done. Yeah, like I saw there's like Metroidvania elements to it. And I was like <gasps> Metroidvania. I yeah, like Metroidvania. So like, well, you know, <laughs> the, like the first areas and stuff, you can't like dive underwater because mm. you've not got the mouth breathing thing. Um, but you know, you unlock it further in the game, and then you can go back to the earlier like parts of the game after you've done it, and you can go in. You know, get the collectibles and all that sort of stuff and there's just a whole heap of stuff to do and see and, and look at and the, the combat is just very addictive so you just want to go and you know beat the living crap out of stuff and yeah. it's just it's just great really really good job best awesome. Star Wars game they've ever made 100% sweet excellent I'll check that out for sure uh, yeah so number one the big number one big uh, number one so don't you think it really could be of course the best yeah. game of the year WWE 2K20 how could it be anything else <laughs> <laughs> just the best wrestling game ever made better than No Mercy oh yeah it's so good it's just everything about it was great no glitches great graphics yeah um, it's amazing tr- tremendous story mode Cavs models um, it's amazing yeah really 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 good uh, just completely up to date as well They just the way they keep updating it uh, every week with new stuff it's just fucking awesome yeah it's incredible uh, totally yeah. didn't ask for a refund one week later I was no it. absolutely no 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 <laughs> but that's cow- terrible terrible game worst game of the year Get out of here. <laughs> it's probably not far off one of. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, terrible. If if we do ever do predictions, like bring back pay few predictions, which I think we will next year. Um, yeah. I'll play, play, I'll, we find it on PS4, but I think you're going it on Xbox, don't you? So we'll just do it on Xbox. I have got it on Xbox. Yeah. yeah. We'll probably end up doing it on 2K19 eventually. Or like or 5 Pro. Pro. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but probably worth doing a couple on 20 just for like a morbid curiosity. Shit, curiosity. Yeah. yeah. Cool, but no, of course, no, number one can be nothing else but Death Stranding. Um, just a, as you talked about earlier, it's just a phenomenal game. Um, and you said a work of art. Um, it is, yeah. Some of the best performances in video games as well, especially towards the end. Um, I won't spoil it, but like uh, Die Hard has some incredible uh, performances at the end. Um, yeah, just gra- like graphically as well. It's like it looks, the actors look like real. Like, <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. Like, it looks incredible. Um, th- it's next level. I mean, the environments are just... Uh, what I love about the environments even more is that when you've got a lot of sort of distance to cover, it will just then play uh, a song from its incredible soundtrack mm, so to good. guide you. And it will zoom the camera out as you sort of traverse these beautiful environments. And you just like... It, it's in them moments. You don't get many moments these days where games take your breath away. But like in those moments, well, as the song starts and the song title like pops up in the corner or whatever, and the camera zooms out and you just see this glorious landscape and you're just like, holy shit, yeah. this is where games are now. I've gone from playing RoboCard James Pond <laughs> on the Mega Drive to this, and this is just, it's not a game, it is it's it is just a work of art. It's phenomenal. Yeah, it's insane. Um, like. At the beginning of the game, in the first like you first get that first song and the camera zooms out, mm. like literally goosebumps, like holy yeah. shit, it's incredible. Yeah, um, it's just it's just phenomenal. It really, really is. I mean, um, you know, when you see the when you when the trailers first started coming out, you just thought, God, this is a Kojima project. Head up his ass completely. <laughs> um, not telling us what this is. Why is there a baby there? Um, it, why is Norman Reedus naked? All that sort of stuff. <laughs> Norman Reedus is naked a lot in that game. But the thing is. Like it, it fits in perfectly with what the game is. Yeah, absolutely. And it all makes sense just, in a weird way. It does. Yeah, and it's a game that you just have to play. Like the the trailers cause the intrigue, and I have no interest in it at all. And then I'm playing it day one, and I'm like, this is just fucking incredible. Yeah, it's another one of those games. Why, like, yeah, it's like one of the games. That like, not for everyone. Like, people are going to find it very boring, which is fair enough. Like. I think that's kind of the point. It's not supposed to be like action, 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 twenty all like all three in your face, no. like straight away. Um, but yeah, it can be very relaxing. One minute, like just trawling through, like just climbing through things, and then mm-hmm. you get bring them into like BTs and it's very stealthy and you try and sneak through. Or even select some mules and try to leg it away from them. Um, but yeah, it's a nice mix of different things, and it is. Yeah, yeah. it's very cool. It's it's very cool and it definitely one of the games of the year. I mean, there's no way that it, it, it couldn't be. Just just for how the game's put together, um it's it really is phenomenal. It it really is. Yes. 
And I always like the fact that the act, the, like the characters look like the actors. I hope games do that more because I really like that. Something about it. I like. Yeah, yeah. I, I know. I, I like that too. I think it's cool that Norman Reedus um, looks like Norman Reedus, and it's not just a voice. Yeah, and yeah, uh, I like that. It, well. it adds okay. to it. It makes it feel like a movie. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's yeah, it's incredible. And just, like everyone like has top notch performances. Like Troy Baker is incredible as Higgs, and like just everyone is so good. Top notch. Yeah, it's it's just great. Uh, if, you know. Even like the side characters, like their stories are interesting. Mm. Sometimes, you know, you play these massive games and you couldn't give, you know, two shits about <laughs> the side characters. But like when you go to these places and they sort of explain why it is you're delivering the stuff you're delivering to them, um, you're like, oh, wow. Okay, so this, this is what happened to this guy in that part of America. Obviously, you know, the whole purpose of the game is rebuilding America, basically. Yeah. Um, you know, trying to bring it back online to, to you know, in, in an attempt to rebuild. And, you know, when you hear the character stories and, you know, it's just the way that it's all put together is so masterful. And I couldn't, I couldn't imagine um, the game being made by anybody else other than Hideo Kojima. Oh, yeah, totally. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend, if you haven't finished it yet, go back and finish this game. Some very cool, like, plot twists and stuff towards the end. It's like, it's, you have to play it. You have to, you have to finish it. Um but yeah, it's just yeah. As I said, nothing else like it, and there'll probably be nothing else like it ever again. Um, mm-hmm. I'll look forward to whatever Kojima does next for sure. Yeah, I'd be happy for him to just rip off Metal Gear Solid to be honest and remake the first one with different character names. <laughs> yeah, uh, there was a rumor going around that um, he was back in talks with Konami about potentially making a new uh, Stone Hills, but you got to take it with massive okay. pinch of salt because uh, <clears throat> Konami's shit. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, I, I don't see that happening. I think um, I think that ship has sailed. Yeah, I did manage to download uh, PT again, um, which is yeah, still just like terrifying. Have you played it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Since yeah, it, yeah, it's great. I'm gonna stream it at some point. Definitely do. It's awesome. Yeah, so good. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, re-download it as well, but just because just just to have it on my PS4. Yeah, same here. Uh, cool. But it's yeah, it's great. All right. So what's your uh, what's your number one? Control is my number one. Oh, interesting. Um, it was the first game this year that really gripped me. Hmm. Uh, from uh, from a, a story and gameplay hook perspective, uh, I just love everything about it. Uh, I really do. Um, apart from the you know, yeah, the map is you know kind of confusing at times, but um, all in all, it's just a, a really well made game. You know, um, just all the physics behind it, and is it the best looking game in the world? No, it isn't, hmm. but I think it, you know, it creates a case for graphics not being everything. Oh yeah, totally. It's not a bad looking game by any stretch, but uh, I think just in general, um, like the gameplay is just so good. I, I enjoy the world, love the combat, love the, that feeling of power when you when you do get additional powers, and you know it does assist you in different areas, and it just it just takes you out of the real world, hmm. you know, and it puts you in the shoes of this just incredibly powerful woman you don't know why she's there or anything like that until the you know almost near the very end and it just keeps you guessing the whole time and i loved it for that and it was it was a great length for me um because you know i don't have a lot of time these days to just sink 60 hours into a game yeah yeah totally. but for what I, but for, for, for what i look for in a, in a video game which is a great story um with fun gameplay and you know is a, is a good length i mean i think it's like you know 12 Oh, 14 hours long. Yeah, yeah. That. Not super long, yeah, but it doesn't need to be. No, it doesn't need to be at all. Um, I, but it, I just loved every every second of it. Well, you know, there wasn't one bit. Like, even when I got, um, like, new powers, uh, and I thought, oh, there's a side mission I couldn't do before. Uh, but so now I'm going to... But I don't do that very often. I don't sort of go back and do side missions and stuff like that. I'm very much sort of mainline, go get it done, fuck it off kind of thing. But... <laughs> With this, it was sort of like, I want to go back and do it because I want to see what's going to happen. I want to see how I can use these powers that I've got. Yeah. And it was just a very unique concept. And I, I honestly, I loved every every minute of it. I think um, I felt so bad um, when I, the game didn't sell well. Yeah, it's a shame. But as I said before, like, I do think it'll, over time, it'll uh, get the sales up there, especially in like, like Christmas sales, things like that. Yeah, I hope so. Because, I mean, I want you know remedy to keep making game i would love to see a sequel mm. i know they're bringing out sort of dlc and stuff for it but i would yeah. like to see more games maybe set in that universe yeah um, 
Yeah, and I just lo- I loved it so much, but it was the first game that really gripped me this year because there's not been an awful lot uh, of short. There's not a lot of short games these days. No, everything's very much open world, and um, yeah, go and explore, do whatever you want. Every fucking blade of grass you can pick up, or whatever. <laughs> but no, with this, it was like, right, you're this person. Here's a. That's another thing. The gun was awesome. Oh yeah, like we like change form the things. Very cool. Yeah, that was great. It was so unique. Something like nothing I've ever seen before. Yeah. And, you know, just that you, if you have one gun in a game, you'd think, what the, what the fuck is going on with this? I, don't, I need more than one gun. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. Um, but I just loved everything about it. I just thought the combat was great. Uh, the story was great. The, the Just everything about it was great. And that's why, for me, it's the best game of the year. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to have to see that. Don't disagree with you at all. Um, no, and that it's just yeah. If you haven't played it, please do go and play it and support Remedy and um, you know just appreciate their vision for this. Just really, it's a sleeper. I, I think it's a sleeper for sure. I mean, people oh, have slept time. on it, but I, I think people need to go and appreciate this for what it is. And it truly is one of the best games of the year. It's not winning awards for no reason. Yeah, absolutely. You're right. Great, cool list. So yeah, very I mean, cool it's, I think we you know we had very similar stuff on there, mm. um, but when it came down to the nitty gritty, our uh, picks were very different. Yeah, absolutely, good stuff. But good year. Um, yeah, very very good. Have you got any honourable mentions you want to uh, yeah. bring up there? I want to sh- uh, throw in Shenmue Three. Um, the only reason I didn't put it on there because I haven't really played enough of it yet. I'm still putting it in the beginning. Yeah, but it is very much you know a, a Shenmue fan's dream. <laughs> like, is it's basically Shenmue Shenmue Three that should have came out like twelve years ago. <laughs> yeah and this this should be the HD remake of Shenmue 3 <laughs> exactly yeah <laughs> uh, but again it's not for everyone but yeah I love it so far so good yeah I'm just happy that it exists more than anything <laughs> yeah me too yeah it's finally that's all these years it's here yeah very happy <laughs> um, also uh, Entitled Goose Game which yep. is uh, yeah, it's so good I bought, bought it again on uh, PS4 recently and yeah it's just, it's honking amazing it is honking amazing, yeah. <laughs> it is absolutely honking amazing. Uh, Anything also, else? Uh, Link's Awakening, we talked about briefly. Um, yep. But yeah, great little remake of uh, another Game Boy game. Very charming. It's um, super charming. Yeah. And then the one I thought of was uh, The Lion King and Aladdin. Um, and we, well, not really remake, but uh, re-releases on everything. Yeah. And yeah, yeah just nice little, nice little throw about that. Yeah, that little classic collection of games from my childhood. Yeah, love it. For sure. And yeah, how about you? Any more? Uh, yeah um, Borderlands 3 mm. it's a game I really love um, it's Borderlands with a 3 on the end pretty much <laughs> pretty much um, looks great plays great um, some of the best shooting that uh, I've you know sort of ever experienced in a game but it's really really good um, Pokemon Sword and Shield uh, I'm playing through Sword currently uh, it's great nice really really good uh, Untitled Goose Game Honk uh, Honk Honk and um, NBA 2K20 just because it's just it blows every other sports game out of the water every year and it, they still keep doing it and making it better um, whereas other sports games seem to be going progressively downhill and worse every year uh, This they keep raising the bar with this and it's just a phenomenal effort a phenomenal effort every time awesome yeah I think like uh, Borderlands and stuff would probably would have been on my list if I played them um, but yeah it's enough time in the world unfortunately but we'll get there. Again, that's that's the thing, isn't it? It's all it's all down to time. I mean, um, it's finding what you like and making it stick. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's the big thing. Uh, it's finding you know when you when you are sort of strapped for time. Uh, sometimes, I mean, especially for me now, a, a quick hit is better for me. So that's why Star Wars and Control uh, and Resident Evil Two, you know, were so high up in my list. Cool. Yeah, fair play. Because they are they are quick hits. Definitely. Awesome. But all in all, another great year for gaming. And, and you know, next year we've got uh, the PlayStation 5 coming and the Xbox Series X. And, and yeah, it's not a great name, but um, it's an exciting year for sure coming up. And uh, I can't wait to see how it all pans out. Another generation of gaming has passed us by mm-hmm. somehow. Somehow. Yeah, what, but what, what um, you say you know, we'll be here again for, you know, we'll be here for whatever it throws at us. Absolutely. Uh, what would you say is the most uh, anticipated game of next year so far? Uh, the Last of Us Two. There's no no two days no two ways about it. Good choice, good choice. I think mine's pretty pretty obvious. Final Fantasy Seven, obs. Yeah, that as well. Um, 
Resident Evil 3, I mean, the, mm. you know, it's there's so many. I mean, then I can't wait to see what comes with next gen. Uh, me personally, I'm excited for Halo. Um, yeah, there's just a lot to be excited about. Yeah, so many. Uh, there really is. We've got a, we've got a great year ahead of us. I've no doubt about that. Yeah, it's like it's, there's like Final Fantasy VII we make on its own is like mind blowing to me. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, after all this time and it's finally here, it's uh, it's 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 going to be an event for sure. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait. I, I mean, I definitely will play it. It looks great. Um, awesome. But there's just uh, there's so many there's, there's so many good games still to come before yeah. next gen even to hits. <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, of course, it's the uh, end of a decade as well this year. Um, yeah. Have any uh, games of the decade you want to shout out? Oh, Jesus. Um, yeah. <laughs> games of the decade. Oh, God. Uh, the Last of Us mm. um, probably uh, is one of, if not the best game of the decade. Yep, I'm going to agree with that. Uh, um, absolutely phenomenal. Really is. Um, Grand Theft Auto V has to be up there oh, because yeah. it was just phenomenal. And Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, yeah. Big time. Um yeah, uh, GTA Five still selling super well after all these years. <laughs> no, it's fucking all, insane, all like, and they're the still top of the maintaining really that game as well, uh, yeah. which is just they've done a phenomenal job with that. I mean, I can understand why they're not rushing to get GTA Six out in the wild because GTA Five makes a crap ton of money. Yeah, it'd be a wild for GTA Six. I think a bit long, a few years. Yeah, oh yeah, it'd be ages away. Yeah, a couple of years at least. Yeah, but uh, there's been so many great games this decade. There really has. It's it's hard to really sort of. Uh, because the stuff from like the 360 and the PS3 that were still, you know, sort of coming out before uh, next, well, PS4 and Xbox One came out and stuff. So it's it's hard. I think maybe that's another list for another time. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was just looking through things like Dark Souls. Is um, it was you know they pretty much create the genre. I'm well, telling Demon Souls before it, but like Dark Souls one that like case into the mainstream. Yeah. Um, like Portal Two, um, Incredible Skyrim, Witcher Three. Just like so many amazing games. This God of again. War, I mean. God of War, yeah, God of War. <laughs> it's, just, it's just, it's just insane. The, the, we've been totally spoiled these these last ten years. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, I mean, here's to another ten years. Yes, the phenomenal games. We'll be in 2030, no doubt. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, old as fuck. Yeah, cool. <laughs> but guys, um, it's been a it's been a stop start year for us, really, uh, as far as sort of uh, podcasts and stuff go. Uh, but next year, we've sort of made a promise to ourselves that we are going to deliver something to you every week, whether it includes both of us, whether it includes just one of us. But regardless of that, there's going to be um, there's going to be streams. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to sort of work out schedules and stuff like that, and um, make sure that our Twitch channel is more active. Yep. And uh, we're going to give you podcasts every week, regardless of what it is. Yep, yep. Um, but there's just going to be a lot more stuff coming from us. We figured that we work best as a unit. Uh, and we, you know, we always have, and I think that's the way we need to carry on going forward. But uh, we apolog- apologies for the stop start year that we have had. Um, it, it's just been a, a chaotic year, and it's sometimes things are just difficult to balance. Yeah, big time. But next year we'll be more organized and we'll be bringing you content weekly uh both in podcast form and in streaming form yes absolutely i want to try and do more stuff on youtube as well it's like youtube videos and things like that oh yeah okay uh, that's yeah good. maybe once maybe once either i or one, or one of us can drive again or both of us probably uh, we can start yep. getting together more doing like sunny maybe you can bring back sunny and vin versus like you back in the day definitely i mean there's so many ideas for stuff that we can do together yeah. I like we can like, um, get together every now and then to so like a, a podcast in person, like film it and stuff for YouTube. Definitely, yeah, That'd be definitely. Cool. There's so much more we need to do. It's just you know, as you get older, life gets more difficult. Yeah. Uh, time becomes so precious; it's ridiculous. <laughs> but, um, we we promise in 2020, uh, every week you'll get a podcast uh, at the very least from us. Yeah, podcast at least. I'd say at least one stream a week, probably a lot more. Yeah. Hopefully. Um, yeah, I mean, hopefully, I mean, you know, if, if, whether it's sort of dual streams or whether it's solo streams from the two of us, mm. either way, we want to sort of bombard you with content and we want to be pretty much in your face. Uh, yeah, you can't escape us. No. It's all up in your face. And if you don't like that, guess what? Fuck you. <laughs> it's too bad. <laughs> yeah, can't tough shit. <laughs> <laughs> but either way, this has been the Games and Grass podcast for 2019. We are a every now and then podcast <laughs> but next year will be a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts every single Saturday across podcast services everywhere everywhere 
thank you for your support this year. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed everything that we've done. Um, if you haven't, tough shit. If you have, thank you very much. Yes, I'm Sonny. Thank you. I'm Finn. And we'll see you on the other side. Take it easy, guys. Goodbye. Thank you so much. Goodbye.